Hey there, this tutorial is part of my game maker course on Udemy. The link is in the description. Hey there, in this lecture, we'll set up a manager and alarms. So far, we have two objects in our game a ship and an island. Now we're going to add a manager object simply called OManager. Manager objects are used to manage things that the game needs to do in the background. So it's not an actual entity or a thing in the game. For example, we'll be using our manager object to create new island instances in the room. So while the manager object doesn't actually show up in the room, it manages the creation of the island instances. And in later lectures, we can use the same manager object for more things. But for now, we just need it to create island instances using alarms. As you know, we need the island instances to keep coming in. For our game, we'll choose to create one island every one second. So we're gonna do that using alarms. Alarms are events that can be set to run after a certain time. So for example, in the create event, you can set alarm 0 to 60 steps. So then the alarm 0 event will run after 60 steps, which is 1 second. Then in that event, an island will be created. Then alarm 0 will be set to 60 in that event, so that it runs again after 1 second. So this way, it'll keep running every 1 second. So let's get to it. I'll create a new object and name it OManager. In the object, I'll add the create event. In the actions, I'll search alarm and add the set alarm countdown event. Here you can type which alarm event you want to set. There are 12 alarm events as you can see in this list. So I'll keep the event number at 0 and for the countdown, I'll set 60. So now the alarm 0 event should run 1 second after the create event runs. Now I'll add the alarm 0 event. Here we are going to create an island instance. If this is our room, then we want to create the island instance above it so that it comes down. So while the starting Y position will always be the same, the starting X position will always need to be random. So in the actions, I'll search random and add the get random number action. This action will give us the island's X position. I'll change decimal to integer because coordinates should always be integers to avoid issues. Now I'll keep the minimum at 0 and set the maximum to 1024 which is the width of my room. In the target, I'll type island x. So it'll create a variable called island x that will store the random value returned by the action. And now I'll take temp. So this will make it a temporary variable instead of a normal one. Temporary variables are deleted when the event ends. We know that we are not gonna need this variable outside of this event, so it's better to make it temporary. Now I'll search create and add the create instance action. This action creates a new instance in the room. So for the object, I'll select O island. These are the coordinates where the new instance will be created. So I'll set the x to island x, which is a random value returned from this action. I'll set the y to minus 100, so it'll be created above the room. Now you may have to adjust the y value if you're using a different island sprite. So if you don't see the islands at all, try increasing the y value because it may be getting deleted for being outside the room. Now for the layer, I'll type islands. So this layer must exist in the room. And I'll leave the target empty. This basically stores the created instances id to a variable, but we don't need that. Now I'll add the alarm action. I'll set alarm 0 to 60. So this way, the alarm 0 event will keep running each second and creating island instances. Now I'll open the room and select the instances layer. I'll place the manager object in the room. And then I'll run the game. And you can see that more island instances are being created by the manager. Now let's move on to the next lecture where we'll implement shooting.